die. Just go away. I died two times to you guys. Let me have this victory. Green Blossom, three times. I'm okay with that. Uh, more items. Five life gems. Very useful. Uh, okay. Yeah, this place was a hellhole. <laughs> Absolutely. freaking lootly Simpleton Spice. Ooh, that's for intelligent stuff, right? This I think it was. Um, okay, there we go. Large Titan Night Shard. Awesome. I'm getting a lot of stuff here. Uh, you help nothing but the big guy. You have... No? Large Soul for Brave Warrior and a Radiant Life Gem. And yeah, getting into there while facing four of them. That's just the same as the chariot fight. That's the stuff that gets you killed. Okay, what else have we got? More items. Large Titan Shard. That, that goes even further. Okay, what am I hearing? Dude. No. Okay, not you. Skeptic Spice. Awesome. Okay, I'm hearing something. And I don't know what. But I do know that this path lead... Hi. You do know that banging your head against the wall is... Not the great idea. Anyway, uh, item. Thank you. Petrified something. Awesome. So, that leaves the big dark magic throwing guy that has to break a different wall be wary of trap visions of death visions of nimble one okay something tells me dead end is short be wary of trap yeah something tells me I should not go in there no 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 we're not even gonna try people died but that leaves that guy over there. And I can easily get back. Hmm. His wall is completely broken open. Oh, that might actually be terrifying. Okay, I'm gonna get my magic weapon out. I need to lure him to break the wall behind him. That seems like a terrible idea, though. One more sip of my esters. Just play it safe. Hi, how are you doing? Can you, please? No. Friend. Friend. Over here. Over here. Come on. Come on. Yes. And... Did that do it? No, you did not do it. Friend. Friend. Over here. Yup, that did it. Thank you. Very much. Oh. Okay. You also have melee attacks. Can you please die now? Thank you. Oh my god. So, using enemies to break the environment. Awesome, and a big treasure too. Radiant life gem and smooth and silky stone. I need to go back and deposit all these things at the bird's nest. Uh, Solve lost and dead. Thank you. Torch, always welcome. And old knight pike and old knight great shield. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, okay, now the question. Can I just rush back over here? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. Okay, go to the bonfire, play it safe, and read up on the stuff that you just found. We got... Uh, or is it a simpleton spice? That just makes sense for it to actually be for intelligence. A spice exuding a peculiar aroma. A spell demands devotion from its caster, but using this spice makes a chosen spell attainable with one less intelligence. Will only work for a will only work with assistance from a certain person. The spice does not raise one's intelligence but only obfuscates the requirement. Just like the skeptic spice. Now what else did we pick up? Uh, we also have two branches of yore, which is good. Uh, mm, old Knight Halbert, Old Knight Pike. So that's a terribly weak thing in regards to durability. An undated Pike, wielded by a warrior from a time so ancient that there exists no record of his endeavors, has extremely low durability. Sometimes, just as a thing falls to pieces, it unleashes its last flash of great power. Uh, anything else? I don't think there was. 
Ooh, old knight shields, yeah. Uh, wielded by a warrior from the ages, uh, low durability, exactly the same. So how much does that even require? Like a pike, that's a spear, right? 20 strength, my god, why? Why isn't that dexterity based? Nah. <sighs> anyway, um, that was everything, right? That we picked up. I have seen everything. Um, yeah, I think that was it. Uh, which means that we have an area to go further with more of those dark magic throw things. But I have several petrified some things, or those kind of things. I want to trade them. So let's quickly do that. Take a quick break from the madness of the Poison Valley. And go back to the far fire. And also, since I know that I'm going to need them, Valencia, I have 7,000 souls. I want all your life gems. I am going to run Thanks. through these things so fast. Now, all I gotta do is remember, don't use them, don't abandon them, just drop them. Mostly just don't use them. Okay, here we go. You, you, give us food. Yes, you, give us silky. Sure, here you go. Small, smooth, and silky stone leaf. Yeah, there we go. Too nice, too smooth. Give me good yeah, stuff, yeah. please. Give me good stuff. Raw stone, and that's not really good stuff. You, you, not for me. Food. That's number two. Give me something. Not a raw stone. Dark Knight stone. Did we already had a Dark Knight stone? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we already had one. Okay, well, fine. And now the big stuff. Smooth the silky stone. Have it. One of them. Here you go. Please get something yeah, like yeah. a very big soul is very welcome. Yes, yeah. No, no, come on. There we go. Crimson water. Uh, that is new. Greatly it restores HP and spell uses, so it's the better version of rogue water. Okay, uh, crimson water of unknown origin. Greatly restores HP and spell uses. Those who have experienced the powerful effects of this dimly loosened red water care not that its very origins are not. Are, are completely unknown. Yeah. Okay, well, fine. Fine by me. Um, one more smooth and silky stone. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Too nice. Too smooth. Yay! And it is... De Demon's Great Hammer. You, you, give it are you serious? Are you serious? Give you. Give <laughs> Do I... I have two demon great hammers. Oh, I gotta see how that looks. I gotta see how that looks. <laughs> okay, uh, and then finally, the petrified something. Here you go. Leave petrified something. So nice, so smooth. Give me good stuff. A white ring. Oh, I know what that one does. Um, I'll quickly see you guys back in Majula. Uh, I gotta show you something. So, the white ring that we just picked up. As I was playing on my secondary save file at the very beginning, I tried my best to also get my hands on one of those great hammers that we just picked up another one of. Uh, while I was doing that, I didn't always succeed, and at one point I got a ring. The white ring takes the appearance of a phantom. This makes you look like a freaking phantom. I don't know the use. It looks cool. It's not useful for me, but it is cool. And it's also why I wasn't that completely surprised when we faced that invader who wasn't colored red. Because it makes some sort of sense that there are rings that hide that glow and everything. but. Right now I'm a phantom. Yay, great, cool, awesome. It's not useful for me. It's a little fun gimmick to have. If you guys know any use for this kind of stuff, like some fun things that you can do with it, uh, I don't know them. But yeah, stone ring. So it's not really that useful for me, but it's cool to have. 
uh, which also reminded me, I have Hexing Urns. I picked up Hexing Urns. Explodes inflicting dark damage. So this is pure magic damage, this is fire, and this is dark. Hexed Black Lacquer Urn. Explodes inflicting dark damage. With the dark art of hexing strictly forbidden, who would dare fill an urn with such power? The very origins of the art are unclear. Yet another reason why hexing is feared. That makes a whole lot of sense. Anyway, I don't have the requirements for this. Absolutely not. But I gotta see. I gotta see. Uh, no. Wrong place. Wrong place. Come on. Dual wield demon great hammers. Both of them. We can do it. <laughs> and then there was something about... Okay. Power stancing can only happen when you have actually the stats to wield these things. This is my movement speed. What the hell? How How much am I carrying? Oh my god. 156%. This is mental. Absolutely mental. How does this... Oh god. Can you already imagine someone running around with two of these things as an invader and you face that? That's just asking for trouble. Oh my god. Okay, uh, enough fun. <laughs> I'm uh, quickly gonna stuff everything back where it belongs. So, with that fun little tidbit, uh, it is time... At least, I think I deposited everything with the crows, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, I do have a... F I'm, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep them till... Uh, what was the very next thing that we encountered that was petrified? That would be the petrified statue in the Lost Bastille. But don't worry, we'll end up going there anyway at some point in the future. Just not yet. I can't fully remember. I think it was the one... Ooh. Yeah. I think it was the one at the... No Man's Wharf. There was a statue over there. I think that was the next one that we actually found. I can't fully remember. So, yeah. Um, I have two fragrant branches of your... Uh, be wary of what? Be wary of hitting them in one swoop, by the way. Be wary of hitting them in one swoop. Okay, then. Yeah, I don't know if this kind of stuff leads me to completely new areas. Like, the stuff with the shaded woods. That led me to a completely new area. So I'm not entirely sure if this also leads to something. There was some kind of big night thing up there. Which kind of frightens me. And also you and your friends. Hi, can you die, please? Oh, come on. Just die. Please. Ow. Please. Your weak enemies. Just go. Go away. And we got hollow infantry boots. And hollow infantry armor. I don't need that. I merely need to release this thing. From its prison. Is that everything gone? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Now of course you're going to be an enemy. Like. The day I find a hollow that looks like that, which is actually not aggressive. Yeah, no. Just no. Anyway, that leaves this area up here. There is an item. What the hell is that thing? Uh, also, are there other enemies? Doesn't look like it. Just you. What are you? I think I need to worry. Oh my god. Okay. That's one big freaking pike, one heavy shield, and... No. Okay. Cool. Uh, eh, you're not that strong. I can handle you. What are you? Some kind of elephant thing? Dear god. Anyway, item, I'll... 
rear ahead. Exactly. Essence flask shot. Awesome. Oh, wait. That means we go to eight. That means we go to eight charges. That is glorious. And do we have anything over here? Chest? Okay. Mimic. Not trap. Nope. Item. Night helm, night armor, night gauntlets, night leggings. Wait, is that the starting set of the night? That might very well be the starting set of the night. Night helm. Metal helmet worn by knights. Standard issue for new Drangleic knights. Knights have long trusted this, uh, trusted this helmet for its excellent functionality. Yeah, this feels like a beginner knight set. Yeah, just the basic stuff. Is there any better than the current stuff that I have for poison? It's not better for poison. So, eh. That solves that issue. Uh, knight gauntlets, also not better for poison. Knight leggings, also not better for poison, I'm guessing. Nope. And the helmet also, nope. My current gear is just much better for the dangers that I'm currently facing. Is there anything hidden over here? There's a door. Liar ahead and secret ahead. That's a busted down door. And there's nothing you can do with that. Well, okay then. So there are just still normal areas like this which only lead to one little item. In this case, the Estus Flask Shard, which I am actually very grateful for. Because I need all the Estus that I can get. So with that out of the way, let us fill up our Estus Flask again. Even further than before. And then we continue back to Harvest Valley. And in the meantime, also, I have souls to spend. Valencia, I need your life gems. You know, at this point in time, I truly wouldn't know what area I would prefer. Facing all kinds of tough enemies and lots of poison, or facing enemies that I can't actually target. It's... It's bad in general. Anyway, it's pretty clear we're going right at this tower, so... Yeah, fun times with the windmills and everything. Uh, we're not gonna go in that direction. There is two places that we can go. Either we drop down into this pit of doom, which will most likely take away our vision again, which means we need our cast light. Or we go in that direction, God knows where we're gonna end. Uh, can you stop that, please? You don't even see me. <laughs> Bloody hell, I hate that pyromancer. Yeah, I don't know where this poison filled area is leading to. I swear, if that pyromancer can actually hit me over here for some who knows for God for the second reason. Uh, in general, I don't know how to get out of here. This seems to be a one way trip, so if I go in here, in one of these two halls, and I end up there, fighting that. Okay, never mind. I know where the Pyromancer is coming from. Somewhere over there, which means... You. I'm... Okay, so the Pyromancer is up there somewhere. I'm gonna take this safe. Make sure that I don't mess up. Can you even hit me from over here? No, you can't. Oh, that's such a shame. How about I hit your little friend? Can you stand still, please? There we go. Where is that pyromancer in that case? Oh, can you... Oh. Are you coming my way? Yeah, going in there without being prepared is like the worst choice ever. So is that thing actually coming up here? He might. He's not coming. Be wary of fire. Noticed. Okay, there he is, there he is, there he is. Did he de-aggro on me? Yes, he did, which means just a little bit further. That means I can kill you. Come on. Good. Good. And can you hit me? No, you can't. Just be safe. Okay, perfect. That is you gone. Which means I can focus on these freaking pyromancers wherever they... Oh, where are you firing from? Okay, there's one of those. 
I don't see the pyromancer. I see something up there. Okay, that slightly worries me. Where are you firing from? Not from up there. Where is that fire? Where is that fire coming from? Up there? How? How the hell can you know that I'm... I can't even see you. How the hell did you aggro on me? How? Oh my god, okay. Um, yeah, fun times. We have a guy with a very large hammer. Lots of fire. Uh, what else? If I jump into this pool of poison, I will be able to survive, or so I hope. Uh, doesn't mean that I want to face this guy alone. So, if I just... If I just take care of you, right here... Uh, make sure you can't actually hit me. Good. I do not want to fight this thing. While having fire rain from above. Getting me killed. Like, do you want to die? Because that is how you will die. Come on, a little bit more. Can I? Here we go. I I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that fire. But fine. Fine by me. Uh, one more. And back into hiding. I don't trust that pyromancer. Because I... You really can't even see her. There we go. And now I want you. Come over here. Did you just... Did you just completely ignore that? Don't tell me you did. Come on. Right over here. Face me in my town. There we go. Power up. Let's have a fun party. Your hammer. My rapier. Nope. Missed me. Nope. And you hit me. Fine. <sighs> you have a hit. I have a hit. Perfect. Everyone enjoys it. Uh, life gems. That's the wrong button. Come on. Don't go too far. 62 life gems should be enough to survive this area, right? I don't like the fact that I'm slowly running out of my uh, my total health, so I will have to actually get myself summoned somewhere or use a human effigy. Okay, what are we dealing with? We can go... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I have a plan, I have a plan. We know where we're gonna end up. So, that means I want cast light. Uh, there was an item over here. And this was the other hole. So if I drop down here. I should be able. Fading soul. That was not worth it. Okay. What else? Here then right. Uh, oh god. Bug ahead. Oh, simpleton spice. I'll take it. Oh. What was that? Okay. That's just. Oh. How about no? How about no? I hate this place. I'm really beginning to dislike this place. Okay, one more life gem. There we go. <sighs> yeah, something about Harvest Valley. I just don't like it. So there's lots of items down there too, again. Uh, and we have that guy over there. He's preparing an ambush, no doubt. Um... Yeah, be wary of enemy. How about we just shoot you from over here? Because you are indeed an enemy. Hi. How are you doing? Oh. What? Okay, you're not one of the enemies that... I thought you were. But you're similar. And you're headless. Fun times. Okay, this area. What are we further dealing with? We are... Hi. How are you doing? You seem to have a case of the poison, my friend. And you're dead. Finite shard, I'll take it. 
Try laying down and pull back. Exactly. So, these pots are all filled with poison. No thanks. It's like they were mining for the poison. We're in the mines right now, so it makes sense. Gesture ahead. Okay. Well, let's see in that case. Hope ahead. Praise the sun. I see blood stains. Lots of blood stains. Liar ahead. Praise the sun, then back. There is no sun here. Like, not even when you look outside. Uh, we're in a cave right now. Not even when you look outside, there isn't really any sun. It's all just cloudy. How did all these people die? Oh, what were you fighting? Oh, dear. Um. Okay. We have an altar of some kind. Praise the sun. Okay. Visions of comfort. Praise the sun, but rather dark. Oh, I'm confused. This is an altar. Neil. Altar of sunlight? Wait, is this... Is this a sunbro covenant? Uh, I don't have sunlight medals. Praise this... Oh. oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Do I actually, actually have access to praise the sun? Really? Okay. Um. Praise the sun. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Sunlight finds a way in even the darkest and foggiest of places. Although the big guy will have a lot of praising left to do if he wants to make it till the end of Dark Souls 2. In any case, it is finally time to praise the sun!